So what I want to do is show you how to create a t-shirt store from scratch using WooCommerce and Printful. And this is the latest edition because they've done some new things over at Printful to make this even easier. Now, I'm over at Liquid Web, which is where I work, and this is the hosting. And one of the things that's really awesome is when I create a new site, in this case, I'm creating a site called Fuming Ape because these are all t-shirts with cigar-related themes. Um, I don't have to create that from scratch. I have a feature called Stencils that is every time I want to spin up a Printful store, I can create a site from this stencil. So this is the template, and it has the WooCommerce uh, plugin. It has the Printful plugin already in place. So when I go to that uh, Fuming Ape app, right, come over here and take a look at Fuming Ape. When I come to that website, right, I know that I can just click right over here, log in, and I will automatically have a whole bunch of stuff, right? The, the default plugins uh, for the site, as well as Printful and WooCommerce. So the first thing I have to do is I have to activate WooCommerce. It's going to take me through um, getting things set up, right? So it's going to create some pages. That's fine. I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to say that I'm in California because that's where I am, right? All that is good. Hit continue. Yes, I'll be shipping uh, physical products. I mean, that makes sense. Uh, I'm not going to worry about uh, tax. I want to hit Stripe in here, right? Allow the data, that's fine. And I'm going to click the Create Your First Product. This is going to take me through the whole, you know, every time you set up a, a WooCommerce site, it's going to walk you through all the different parts the first time. And I'm just going to walk through and click all the dismisses so that I don't have to deal with this again. I'm not going to create a product though, right? I'm not going to at all. Uh, so this is in place. I have to go into WooCommerce settings, right? And uh, I'm going to go over to the API, and I'm going to make sure this is enabled, right? So that's good. Uh, I am also going to go over to settings, and in permalinks, I'm going to change this to the post name, right? And hit save. That will get me uh, set. You'll see there's a couple different notices in here the new features of Apple Pay. I still am going to have to update my Stripe keys. I'll do that in a second. I'm going to come back over to WooCommerce and Settings uh, and head over to the API because I'm also in here, Keys and Apps, Webhooks. This is where we're going to do a little bit of work. But what I'm going to do right now, now that this is checked, is I'm going to head over to WooCommerce uh, integration uh, instructions over at Printful, right? So I'm already logged into my Printful store, right? And it's going to say, make sure I have the latest version of WooCommerce, which I do. REST API, I want to turn it on, check the button. Make sure my permalinks are not set to the default. I already did that. And then it's going to say, hey, give me your URL. So I'm going to come over here and grab this guy. And I'm going to hit connect. It's going to say, okay, we want to do this back and forth, right? It's going to make the connection and I hit approve. All right, now it says, choose or create a Printful account, connect to your store, right? I want my existing account because I already have one with them. So I'm gonna hit connect. All right, it's now linked. And it's gonna say, hey, there's, there's no products, which there weren't, remember, we just created a brand new site. So I'm gonna hit add product. And when I hit add product, you'll see there's a lot more than just t-shirts. I'm going to pick the t-shirt. I'm going to pick the t-shirt there, and I'm going to go down to Gildan. And it's going to say, what image do you want to put, right? So I'm going to come over here and choose an image. Uh, let's see. I have an image already here that I'm going to choose. I'm going to bring from one of my other stores, right? Now, this image is white on a uh, transparent background. And so I'm gonna change this, uh, no, not forest, I want a black. So it's a black shirt. You'll see there's the image, right? Um, right on that. It's gonna say, hey, what sizes do you want, right? I'm gonna get rid of the small, medium all the way through 5X, that's fine. Um, and uh, this is the front, on the back, nothing, right? So it's just on the front. Um, it gives me the green notice saying, hey, 
good. Like the high quality graphics, no, no problem. And it's going to say proceed to mockups. This is fantastic. It used to be that you had to go to the mockup generator and do work over there. And then you had to go create these products in WooCommerce and do there. You don't have to do that now. Watch. All right. So it's going to say, hey, what, what kind of, uh, what, what kind of mockup do you want? And do you want smaller or do you want the PNG, but it has a transparent background? I'm like, no, this is good. Right. So we'll just, um, proceed. And then it says description, right? So this is, um, uh, I see the world t-shirt, right? Now you could put a whole bunch of description. I'm going to leave that alone, right? But this is, I see the world. That's the name of my t-shirt and it's a dash t-shirt. I want t-shirt in the permalink. I'm going to hit proceed to pricing. It's going to preset things, right? It's going to say my average percent is 56 profit. Depending on the size, here's the price it goes out. Here's my ranging profit. And I hit publish product. And you're going, seriously? Like that? that's it? And I go, yeah, that's it. Because now we're going to see it's uploading the product. It's taking this image, right? And it, and, and it actually created the mock-up and it's uploading it into, it's creating a product, uploading the image, then taking everything else. And you'll see, look, here it is. It's already added. So I come back over here. I come over to products. I'm going to see the product there. There's the I see the world t-shirt, right? I'm going to click into this products. Now, in this particular case, because I deleted it and didn't put other text, I forgot about that. It gave me the default. I don't want any of that. So I'm going to hit update, right? But let's look at what some of the things they did, right? So attributes, color and size, they already did right? They created all the variations. They did all the work automatically for me, right? Uh, I'm going to come into advanced and hit the, I don't want to enable reviews, right? I'm going to add a um, t-shirt category, hit update, right? By the way, they brought over that image, right? So I'm going to hit view product and uh, one second. There we go. So for some reason, it looks like on the other side, I clicked that there was also a white version, which there isn't. Uh, here's the black version. Here's the image. There's the color, right? Here's all the sizes. If I change to one of the bigger sizes, it changes the price dynamically. That's set. Other than you putting in your Stripe key so that you can actually collect money, it's done. Thanks.